Hello and welcome. My friends, I'm really excited to finally be able to make it to Google Maps and locations. What do you say we buckle up and go for a little ride? We'll go to Cairo, Shiloh, Moscow, Chichen Itza, Krakatoa, Shenandoah, Mauna Loa, Tower of Pisa, Warsaw, Aqaba, Shangri-La, Transylvania, Nome, Rome, Stockholm, Lyon, Mauritania, Khartoum, Rangoon, Cancun, Saskatoon, Kowloon, Cameroon, Brigadoon, to the moon. Let's go everywhere, man. Lots of fun out there. Without any further ado, let's get started and let's make coding great once again. So first and foremost, let's rethink the idea of our app. Because the current existing application that we have, which is about a list of scrollable movies, doesn't really fit naturally with maps and locations, in my opinion. And so, how about we start working on a new app focused on forts and castles because the castles application will fit really nicely with the maps and locations imagine you are a visitor to a certain castle you might want to know the location of that castle on the map you might also be interested in finding about the restaurants, the museums, the parks, the petrol stations which are located around this castle. And so, to be able to turn our movies app into our castles and forts app, let's modify our code and let's follow these steps. Step 1. Update the model class. Step 2. Update the local data method source to reflect the new data about sports and castles. Step three, save the castle related images into the drawable folder. Step four, update the rest of the main activity. Step five, update the detailed activity, including updating the notification related code. Step six, update the Firebase related code, making sure to save the castle data onto Firebase. Step seven, run your code and make sure that it works well. Now there are at least two methods which you can use to support maps and locations and add them into your application. The first one is about implementing the map as a map fragment and adding that straight to your application. And the second method is to make use or to take advantage of the existing external Google Maps application. So first, to uh, implement map fragments, let's follow these six steps. Step one, add a Google Maps activity and make sure you get a Google Maps ABI key. Step two, implement the code necessary to show the castle location on the map fragment. Step three, experiment with some map controls, including zone controls, toolbar, map types, and things like that. Step four, implement the my current location functionality. Step five, allow the user to search for any location or place that they enter. Step six, implement the code necessary to activate the on-click map functionality. And now, let's take advantage of the existing external Google Maps application. Step one, add the code necessary to display the castle on the Google Maps application. Step two, add the code necessary to support navigation. And so this will help the user to navigate from their current location to the given castle location. Step three, allow the user to perform 
some categorical search. So this will help the user to find out or to learn about the restaurants, parks, museums, metro stations which are located around the castle. Step four, add the code necessary to display some panorama views about the given castle. And remember the notifications? Well, let's take it a step further. Let's add the code necessary to allow the user to send the same notification using an SMS or an email. And since the application is nearly done, let's change the application icon. And finally, let's get out there and let's make coding great once again. Thank you and happy coding. Oh, my God.